Today's recipe is filled with a whole lot of goodness. We welcome caterer and personal chef J-Rod. J-Rod, yes, welcome back to the show. He is making mac and cheese bacon wrap meatloaf. Wow. Yes, yes. All right, a lot of stuff in one. Get us started. All right, so what I did was took my basic meatloaf recipe, and then I added cheese, I added bacon, I added all that inside the meatloaf. This is uh, meat, this is ground beef and turkey, by okay. the way. All right, so what I usually do is just take my meatloaf, instead of making a loaf, I flatten it out on a okay. sheet tray. I remove the sheet tray, just like that. All right. And then what I usually do is take my mac and cheese. Leland, if you could pass me that mac and cheese. Okay. Just now, your favorite recipe? Your favorite recipe, mac and cheese, and it's best if the mac and cheese is left over. Can you pass me that spatula right okay. there? Okay. So uh, what I usually do is just take my mac and cheese, right? Mm -hmm. And I pour it out just like that, okay? And then I set that to the side. Now, what's what's better than mac and cheese? Mac and cheese with more cheese. So can you pass <laughs> me the cheese? All right. All right, so I take some cheese, and then I add it on okay. top, all right? Now, I leave a border right here, so when I wrap it, the mac and cheese does not spill out. I got you. All I right. use parchment paper uh -huh. or aluminum foil as a guide. So how I wrap it is I take it like that, and I roll it over just oh, like that. Look at that. Okay, when I get halfway, Leland, uh -huh. what I do next is close the edges. Okay. So the mac and cheese does not spill so out. That just, uh, yeah, yeah, so they can see the end of that. See that? So yeah. I close it in right here so the mac and cheese does not spill out when it's baking. Okay. okay. And then I just take it and then I roll it the rest of the way. See how easy that was, yeah. Leland? Yeah. All right, so what we do now, instead of having a, lo a, mac a loaf, a meatloaf, we have a nice stuffed mac and cheese meatloaf. <laughs> now, the cool part is... How you gonna wrap this baby with bacon? We ain't done yet. That's the cool part, Leland. So what I do now is take the bacon, right? And man, the bacon adds so much flavor to it. So you just take the bacon, and then what I usually do is just take the bacon and tuck it up underneath the oh, meatloaf. Okay. That so way, we're not necessarily worrying about wrapping it all the way under the bottom. Yes, sir. We're trying to get it all the way up under the bottom. That way it keeps the meatloaf uh, nice and secure, and it adds so much okay. flavor to the meatloaf. Man, this is one of my favorite recipes, and my kids love it. Man, and How'd you come up with this one? All right, so I was laying in bed, and we had some leftover mac and cheese in the uh, refrigerator, and my wife wanted a meatloaf. Uh -huh. So I told her, I said, okay, I got to do something with that mac and cheese. I went downstairs in the kitchen, and a light bulb went off. It said, ding! <laughs> and I was like, okay... Why don't you put the mac and cheese inside the meatloaf? Ah, how long do we bake this? So we bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for and about 30 minutes. And it will look like that. Oh, yes, so look at that. Man, Ooh. Look at take and the he's going to put the little glaze oh, on top man. of that. For more information on how to get in touch with Chef J-Rod or to get a copy of today's recipe, go to newschannel5.com. Love it. Thank you for being Thank with you. us Thank today. Thank you for having me.